So stay tuned. Watch this example of one of my soul readings that I gave during a source talk recently when I was traveling up the West Coast. Now what you're about ready to see is one woman's uh, struggle. Everyone has a unique struggle, but many have the same one as this one there or something very similar. So uh, it's an education. Watch this. Look at what is it about me that keeps a man away. Now this is going to be personal, but there are many people in this boat, so you are offering your personal way to them right now, okay? The reason that men find you hard to take is because you want something from them they don't know how to give. Not because they are incapable, but because they don't know how. And you are drawn to those men that don't know how. And the reason you're drawn to them is because you didn't get, when you were little, the kind of love from a father that would remind you over and over again what a man does in love. So you can't recognize it, what a man does in love. So you have the expectation of what love is based on what a woman gives. And a man cannot give what a woman gives. If he did, he'd be a woman. The beautiful aspect of man is his simpleness. The simplicity is what brings the complexity of woman to ground. She makes herself crazy in her own complexities, but a simpleness of a giving man that loves in a simple way, in his own honesty and truth, calms her, relieves her, gives her ground. Now we're going to tell you about that. <laughs> we're going to tell you about the man that called. You ready? Because it's a warning. There's a warning in here. The warning is that man doesn't know how to show love either. The question is, are you woman enough to demonstrate to him in patience and warmth and kindness and guidance to show him how to love you? That's the question. Are you ready to expose yourself to that much ridicule? Because you have to look at yourself as ridiculous sometimes when you demand that from a man. And it is self-ridicule. You say, ah, I don't need I don't need from him what I think I need from him because that thing that I need, I get from God. God gives me that. God gives me a sense of protection, a sense of warmth, a sense of perfection, a sense of knowing, company, emotional security. Everything that I need, I get from God. So what is it about this man that's important to me? And I ask him, how come you don't tell me you love me? Is it something you're just uncomfortable with? Is that something that I need to get used to? Or is there a way maybe you could say it a little bit more often? Is there a way that just so I can hear it because I love the sound of it, that maybe you could say it just a little more often? You give him a way out. You say to him, this is what I need but I don't have to have it from you unless you want to give it to me. And if you give it to me, I get to experience that side of you that I adore in word. Or it could be deed. How come you don't demonstrate, how come you don't like to hug me or hold me or hold my hand when we walk? I don't know, it just, just, I just, ooh, it's just, 
And when you have that conversation with him, you find out why, what caused that? Where did that come from? It's not about you. You didn't cause it. It's about him. What he can't give to you is all about him, not you. So if you know that, you can give him patience. So I want to end this with just one last thing to tell you. He is an open door. And you decide whether that's your door or not. Not him. Okay? Staying within the condition of you keeps you you when you're with him so that you don't become something else in order to keep him. Never allow that. Never become something else to keep someone else. The you of you is the perfection of you, and if they cannot see it and do not love it, they must go. Because this is precious. When Jesus said, do not throw pearls to swine, that's what it meant. You are sacred. You are precious. Hold these things sacred. And the holder you make them, the holder you make them, is that the word? Yes. The holder you make them, the more of you you become in them. Because the more of you you reflect in them and the perfection of them.